Hey guys, and welcome back to Station Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to do some uh, keyframe animation. Let's start out here. We're going to set our comp to DVC Pro HD 720 at 24 frames a second and set our duration to 10 seconds. Grab this driving clip here where I set a green screen up behind Alex. Pull it back in Z space by making it 3D. And then we're going to take our key light, throw it on there, and grab our screen color. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to take this brick wall I have here as this texture and put it behind Alex, also make it 3D, and pull that back in Z space as well. Then we are going to rotate it slightly on the Y axis with the rotation tool to make it appear as if you know it's in the proper perspective. All right, then we'll bring Alex up here in Z space a little bit, and we're gonna add a nice fast blur here to the background to give it a little depth here. Uh, put the blurriness at about five. And maybe about seven, if you're about right. Then we're gonna keyframe Alex's position here, go forward a little bit in time, and bring it up. And then we can go forward a little bit more and bring it back down. Basically mimicking the effect as if he was sitting here jumping up and down with hydraulics in his car. So we'll go forward a little bit more on time again and bring the keyframe back up and then repeat the process again and bring it back down. And you're going to want to vary these. You don't want these to look so exact. You want them to kind of be sporadic because it wouldn't be very consistent if this was real. And then once you get a group full of them you can uh, hit command C and command V that will copy and paste your keyframes. Now another thing you can do is you can hold alt and drag all these keyframes and what that'll do is it'll extend them or compress them throughout your sequence. So if you want it to be faster you can shrink it down, if you want to expand it you know spread it out. With all these selected keyframe assisted and then easy ease and what that does is it eases your keyframes in and out from one point to another. So it'll just appear to be a smoother motion. And if we want it to be a little quicker we can bring these all in and you can adjust one by one and randomize these um, just until it looks right here. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, next we're going to hit stylize motion tile on our driving layer and we're going to mirror our edges and just extend our output width and height in case this front layer here decides to go beyond its bounds with any of these keyframes. Just a little safety precaution here so we don't have to worry about any edges. Next, we will go to a new adjustment layer and grab our aftershake and throw it on. And yes, this also works on adjustment layers as well as nulls. We're going to bring our amount down here and our rotation. And then we will parent both our driving and grunge brick layers to our adjustment layer. And now you can see it's got more of a handheld kind of feel and just appears to be more natural and not so stagnant. And again, we can bring these keyframes in by holding Alt and dragging these all in to make this motion even quicker. All right, so now let's adjust a few more of these keyframes a little bit, space these out evenly. Let's add a new adjustment layer again and we're gonna throw on our 90 cinema look here in our presets and then just Bring the opacity down to about 50 so it's not so harsh. And then let's add a new light here. We'll give it a little bit of warmth. Just put an ambient, nice, subtle orange on here. And then bring the intensity down, 175. Okay, that's still a little too much. Let's bring it down to 100. And then see the difference here. And we'll go into our light settings and then just Bring it up a little bit more. On 30 is about good. Okay. So let's trim our comp down here by right clicking, hitting trim to work area. And now you can see when we have this rendered out here, uh, we have a nice handheld effect with our keyframe animation and looks as if uh, the car is on 
hydraulics bouncing up and down. Click here to check out where this uh, effect is utilized in Alex's Weatherman video. There is a lot of effects in this video. Um, the video is about 100% green screen. So there's a lot of cool things in this video. So make sure you check that out and stay in tune and see you guys next week.